Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Uncle Shorty here with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. Uh, it's a Friday night. It's another rainy night here in Washington State. Uh, I hope everybody had a good holiday, good Christmas, and a good New Year's. And now that all that's done and passed, time to relax and do a little more airbrushing. All right, so today we're going to be painting this. Uh, it's a jointed wake bait. I've been liking these baits lately. I've done a couple other ones. Did one in a trout pattern and uh, I think a bluegill pattern. Uh, today we're going to do this one in a yellow perch. Um, so I already covered it in in white, and I masked off the the bill. So. Um, we already got got past that point so now we're going to throw some we're gonna throw some uh, detail yellow just kind of as a starting point here uh, we're gonna throw it on everywhere except uh, underneath we're gonna leave the belly white on this bait um, only a few colors really go into this so it's pretty simple uh, pretty simple I guess pattern to paint um, a few steps but not too bad. Alright, so we're going to throw some of this detail yellow on it. Alright. Nice, easy coat. Nice and thin. Nothing too thick. Just a nice thin coat. Oh, and of course, there's the compressor swoop. We'll let that do its thing while I throw this yellow on. Sorry about that. Been waiting for that thing to go off before I started, and of course it goes off right then. So, all right, we're gonna get. We got that. You can kind of see where I did there. Uh, nice thin coat. We're gonna go over it with with oranges and a few other colors. Uh, but left the belly here white, a little bit on the side here, because uh, you want to be able to see white from the side, um, not just from underneath. You want to be able to see a little bit of white. From the side so just kind of try to remember that when you're painting um, to leave a little white showing from the sides so I'm gonna heat set this and then we'll move on to the next color all right so now we got that dried uh, we're gonna throw some wicked golden yellow it's uh, it's really like a light orange um, I like to start with my lightest colors first and then uh, work towards my darker colors we're just going to do a few different uh, layers here. Like this yellow, you're probably really not going to see at the end of the, at the end of the bait. Uh, but you might see, a, you know, a little bit of it through the other colors. Um, you know, because when you look at perches, you know, there, there are a few different colors. Um, you see a little bit of yellow, some oranges, a little bit of greens in there. Um, you know, blacks, of course. Uh, so... I'll try to just mix in a few colors that way different angles you might see different colors uh, so yeah so right now we're gonna throw this wicked golden yellow uh, kind of in the same place we threw the, the yellow um, and same thing another just light coat we'll start at the front Look at it, maybe try to do a little bit 
a little bit right in right in this area. Make sure you get the face. You know, sometimes what I'll do is when I come forward, I will I'll stop short of the face, then I leave all this white, you know, and I gotta kinda catch myself from from doing that. But kind of practice, you know, and learn as you go. You know, I still have lots to learn on this, but the more you do it, the better you get. You know, plus it's just a fun, fun hobby to do when you're not, you're not able to fish. Because I don't know about you guys, but out here in Washington right now, it's a little chilly. And we're not doing much fishing, or I haven't been doing much fishing. I know some guys are, but I know I have been able to. Not enough time when I do it's pouring rain or it's freezing so hopefully you guys are able to get out there get on some fish you know maybe throw some baits you've been painting uh, I'm looking forward to the year starting for me out here and really getting to throw these baits that I've been that I've been working on over the winter um, yeah really looking forward to it so you know always look you know look over your bait before you switch out your colors you know that way you know if you clean your brush you know and then you go and you're like oh man I missed a spot you know you don't have to add more paint and then clean your brush again so make sure you look over your bait really good you know and get everywhere that you want like right here I want to get that face a little bit more like I said I always fall short on that face and I don't know why I do that All right, so we're gonna heat set this color and get back to you. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna come with this uh, canyon orange color. Uh, you kind of see right here, it's a lot darker than the orange that we just put on. Uh, we're gonna hit this uh, just on the top and kind of down the shoulders, kind of, you know, fade it, fade it down a little bit, but mainly on the top here on the shoulders down. Just a nice thin coat. Hopefully you can see that. Like I said before, when I when I like to when I blend, I, I really hold this paintbrush. Let's see if I can get it. You know, I really hold it at an angle. Uh, you know, you don't want to aim straight. You know, try to hold your airbrush at an angle here um, and spray down. Uh, that'll that'll you know hit hit the top and it'll fade your. You know, let's see if I can kind of get kind of close, but it'll fade it. You know, down on top of the colors that you you know that you did before. So let's uh, do the same thing in the face. Alright, that'll work. Gotta see that there. And then we're gonna come back with some other colors. And uh, we're gonna darken this bait up a bit. We're gonna add the stripes. Uh, do a little bit down here in the front. Because they got a. Uh, kind of like a real bright orange kind of red in their belly there throat belly um, so we're gonna add that in plus the stripes we're gonna darken it oh great we're gonna darken up the top and uh, so yes yeah, so let me heat set this and move on all right <clears throat> so what we did there all right got that heat set and what I did here was I mixed uh, mix the rest of what I had in the little mixing cup of uh, the canyon orange that I used on the last color there and I mixed that with some uh, detail burnt orange because uh, I wanted it to be a little bit darker here 
so I mix these two colors um, and, and came up got this color here so because I want the under the under color before I put the stripes on to be a little bit darker than what I have here um, so what I what I decided to do was mix those two um, you know I haven't done this this specific color before or on my other you know perch patterns but you know you guys have watched my videos uh, you know that none of my baits are the same um, I like to try new things because uh, it seems like you know every time I do it I either learn something new or you know and and either like it more or okay no I didn't really like that too much so you know I don't do it on the next one uh, but never hurts to to try new things so so we're gonna we're gonna add this here onto the top yeah see it's not a big difference which is kind of what I was hoping for it's just gonna darken it up just a little fade it down yeah front there so you can kind of see kind of see that there a little bit darker than that side right here you can kind of see by the face I'll try to see if the camera can get that so it's a little bit darker and that's what I was that's what I was wanting was it to just to be a little bit darker before I add those stripes Forget to hit this little back spot there. And behind the bill, you know, it's another spot that you don't want to leave unpainted. Make sure you get all those little, those little hidden spots. You know, the backs of the eyes. You know, that's why you always, I like to hold these helping hands. You know, move my bait around, make sure I got. You know everything that I want to get painted. I don't want to have any any spots missing anything. Hit that fan a little bit more there. All right. So yeah, I like I like this darker. I like this darker a little bit more. All right. So let me get this heat set here. And then we'll move on to adding the stripes. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to add the stripes here. Uh, I, got, I got multiple different types of stencils. Um, for for this, for the, I guess this bait, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I did on my, on my last bait that I made a perch pattern. Uh, I made with this, this comb here. Um... It, you can kind of see what I did so perch they don't they have stripes but they don't have a ton of stripes you know and if I was to just lay this comb on here you can kind of see how there's you know multiple lines here with, there'll be a ton of ton of stripes so what I did on one side of it was put some blue masking tape down and and then I cut so like I guess what every other every other one I masked off so just so there's less now there's gonna be less stripes you know there's still gonna be stripes but there's not gonna be you know instead of 20 there's gonna be 10 or you know so it's just gonna help cut back on my amount of stripes um, you know and, and when you're out whenever I'm out and about at stores or wherever I'm at I'm always trying to you know I'll kind of look at something and I'll spot you know and I think oh you know that, that'll be cool to you know either wrap around my bait you know either wrap around for scales you know or like forget what came in this thing but something came in this uh, and so I'm just gonna use this to you know wrap around one of my baits you know and use this as as scales you know so just a lot of different things you can use out there to you know you don't have to spend a bunch of money 
you know, and buy, you know, buy stuff online or, you know, just any little cheap things. I know some people use loofahs, there's garlic, you know, I've never used that, but I've heard people use that, you know, the stuff that comes, you know, that garlic comes in. Uh, there's multiple things, you know, like uh, this roll right here. I think this was like four ninety nine. This thing will last me years and years because, you know, you just cut off a chunk and, you know, you can use it multiple times. It's not just a one-time use thing. Um, so those are always good for different patterns. Uh, you know, I bought this right here. This will last me forever too. A little, you know, bigger scales. Uh, you know, just multiple, multiple things you can you can be using out there. So. Uh, you know little combs you know for different different designs of stripes if I wanted pointed stripes or you know different shapes you know but then you can also buy stencils you know there's stencils you can buy out there from you know insane custom stencils they have a bunch you know <clears throat> you can buy them anywhere so enough about that let's get to these stripes all right, so we're gonna start kind of right here at the end of the gill plate. You know, maybe right above the fin. Make sure you get yourself nice and sturdy. You know, you're, you know, you want your the hand that's holding your your stencil to be nice and sturdy. You don't want to be up here shaking and moving. You know, even though I probably still do shake, but get it nice and sturdy. Get yourself in a good angle. And try to do this so you guys can see um, you know you just want a nice nice light it's gonna end up looking a little dark but we're gonna go over it and kind of dull it down a bit but uh let's see here so we'll start back here just a little starting like I said it's gonna look a little dark but we're gonna fade all that away to where uh, it's not gonna look as as dark and bulky uh, turn the bait over That compressor let that thing go while I here we go all right same thing we'll start right after the gill plate here I like to go a little bit at an angle up and down beats oh, moving here all right so now that I had to lift this when you put it back down, you gotta make sure that you put it back in the same spot. Throw a quick heat set on this, and then we're gonna let's see. You guys can kind of kind of see an angle. Then this one right here kind of got into the joint a little bit, so that looks a little funky, but I think it'll be all right. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna blend all that to kind of together. This side's definitely a lot darker, but uh, it's all right. I do notice something here. Let me uh. Notice I got an extra stripe on this side, so now I don't know how that quite happened. 
think it was just a different angle, so... Oh boy. Alright. Let me heat set this. Alright, so got that heat set. Now, as you can kind of tell here, made a little mistake. When I went to go add that other stripe, it kind of connected with this one. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy, but I don't think the fish are really going to care about that too much. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the same black onto the top. I use pearl black for these stripes. I, use, I like to use the pearl black just to kind of give it an extra little bit of shine to those stripes. Uh, a little bit of sparkle to it, I guess. Um, so we're going to kind of use this to kind of blend the top. See how it's all kind of, you know, none of it's connected. So we're going to just add this black right down the top here. Uh, that's going to help darken up the, the top. You can kind of see how this will start to connect. It's nice and straight right down the top. Nothing too thick yet. That's going to come later. Right now we're just kind of a little bit down the sides or onto the shoulders I guess not really the side but onto the shoulder just to kind of meet the tops of the stripes okay kind of see what I did there kind of met them all you know, you gotta look at this side coming together here a little bit looking a little bit like a yellow perch all right let me clean that let me clean this uh, brush out we're gonna change colors okay all right so now that we got that done what I did was I mixed this uh, this orange it was just wicked orange I mixed this with a little bit of this blood red, this candy uh, auto air colors blood red, and because what I wanted was a, a bright orange, but not the same kind of color as what I got on the bait, right? So I wanted it to be a little bit darker of a of a red. Uh, this is the color that I got, so you can see how it's it's a brighter orange. So we're just gonna throw this. Um, kind of right behind the bill here, maybe up to where the the first eye of the where the hook will go. You know, underneath the fin here, we're just gonna kind of brighten that up. You know, and that that blood red stuff is real uh, thin, so just. Just be cautious of that when you're spraying it. It's a real thin. So I mixed that, you know, with the other paint. So it kind of thickened it up a little bit, but it's still a thin, you know, paint. So just be cautious of that when you're spraying. And if you gotta do a couple layers, which I think I might, because you can kind of see how it's um, not running. But you can tell that it will run. So let me just throw a quick little bit of heat on this. So then we can add a little bit more. Alright. A little bit more here to this eye. Or up to the eye. Other side. To the bill, to the gills. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of debating on if I want to go a little bit farther, maybe a little bit past the bill, I mean, past where the, the hook eye is. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go right around that hook eye. As well, spray the hook eye too, right? 
Okay. So you guys know there's probably a lot of moving there, but kind of see what I did. Both sides. Okay. See, do I want to throw it a little bit? Let's throw a little bit right here. Just a little bit. Kind of see right there. Just to give it a little bit of color on this side of the bill as well. Alright. Uh, heat set this. And then we'll move on to maybe some sepia. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I mix some pearl black with some detail moss green. Which I know is a little bit of a weird thing to throw onto this this perch but uh i've kind of noticed with perch that i get a little bit of a hint of green um on them not too much but a little bit of green uh so the way i think i'm gonna get that green flash from it is by adding this this moss green with some black uh onto the top here to darken up the top because the tops of these uh perches are pretty dark so uh, the way I'm going to darken this up is by adding this this mixture and if, if you guys haven't noticed yet I like to mix colors um, I mean I have you know a desk full of paints here uh, and I can probably find the color that I want or you know use the colors that I have here but um, I get a little bit more satisfaction when I can mix some colors that, you know, mix some colors to get the exact color that I want or to try a different, a little bit something different that I know, you know, maybe the next guy can't buy from the store or, you know, it's all about trying to have something that the next guy doesn't have. And that's what I, I try to do. I want to have stuff that the guy on the boat next to me, you know, the guy fishing the tournament against me, you know, something that he doesn't have, you know, maybe the, this, this pattern's working. Maybe he's throwing a perch pattern also, but mine's a little bit different. You know, who knows? It's all, it's all a mental thing out here. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I know you guys, you know, if you guys watched my last video, uh, I talked about, uh, I got a buddy, uh, that guy Skimpy, uh, he also makes YouTube videos, he, uh, he makes videos on making jigs and spinner baits, uh, chatter baits, you know, any kind of thing that you can, uh, think of, and the guy, the guy's amazing at it, uh, he's been doing it for a lot of years, uh, makes a lot of, like, uses a lot of do-it molds, uh, to make, you know make all his you know his jigs and uh football jigs whatever you know anything you can think of uh, so he makes his videos uh i don't know about a month ago or so i hit him up and uh talked to him about you know making some stencils uh, so so he actually made a video about how to make stencils uh using a omega i believe it was called an omega um so he made a video on that, uh, made a bunch of awesome stencils. Uh, we actually hooked up a couple nights ago, and I got those stencils from him. Um, you know, with the holidays and everything being here, it was uh, it's been crazy for for me and for him. So, so we finally hooked up. I got those stencils from him. So my plan is tomorrow night. You know. Uh, once uh you know the wife and the kids and everybody you know get to bed everybody's in, you know now come out here to the garage and i think i'm gonna put those make a video using those uh that was the plan was uh from the start was he'll make he'll make the stencils and then uh i'll make some baits using those stencils you know and then down the road here once the weather gets nice out here we'll uh We'll get out there together and, and make a video of us fishing uh, using those baits that I painted with the stencils. 
that uh, that guy Skimpy made. So if you have, if you guys haven't already, go check out that video. Like I said, uh, his name's that guy Skimpy, and uh, check out all of his videos, man. The guy is awesome. He's a real good guy. He's uh cracks me up. So yeah, go check him out. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. He puts videos out every, you know, once a week or so, once every other week. Uh, sometimes more, depending on what he can do. But, uh, alright, so we'll kind of darken that up. And, uh, let me... Alright, so, sorry about that. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, but my battery died. So, I'm not sure where we where we left off at. But, uh, like I said, uh, my boy, that guy Skimpy, go check him out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Like I said, he, uh, he walks you through each step on how to make stencils uh, from the, on the computer and print them out it's the omega i'm not sure exactly you know everything about it uh, but uh he walks you through each step on the computer shows you how to print it out or how to cut it out uh, this is i don't know if you can kind of see this uh, this is one that he made and then he cut it out into the shape of a of a crankbait let's see this was a crankbait that i painted already a while ago but uh, you cut it out into the shape of it. Um, I think this right here is a, maybe a large mouth bass pattern or, a, or you know a small mouth bass pattern. I forget which one, but um, so yeah. So he shows you how to make make them like this. But like I said, I'll, I'll make a video on them tomorrow. But you can make them for you know any size bait that you want. Just the ones that he made right now are for uh, 2.5 square bills. So, uh, keep an eye out for that video to come. It should be out uh, this week at some point. Uh, like I said, I'll make it, make the video tomorrow night. But what we're going to do right now, pretty much, pretty much done here. We're going to throw some, let's see, I'll throw some wicked gold. I always like to do gold, you know, either, you know, some pearl gold, you know, or wicked gold, just something. Uh, at the very end of all my baits uh, either one you can kind of see they both have you know good shine good sparkle but they're both I'll do the pearl one uh, no we're gonna do wicked um, they're both thin so they're not it's not gonna change the color of your bait it could if you wanted it to um, you know, if you put it on thick enough but we're just gonna do a thin a thin coat over the whole bait and uh, I don't know if you can kind of see that on the video or not, but it uh, it, it gives us some good some good sparkle there. Um, put it on the top. There's that compressor again. On the bottom. Once you clear coat it, uh, you don't see any of the gold. You just see the sparkle come through. So, there you go. You should hit the face, sides, you kind of see the top. I know the lighting in here is not the greatest, but, uh, you know, so hopefully you guys can see these. So. There you go, you can kind of see the bottom. You know, that's, that's what the fish is going to see pretty much because this is a, a wake bait, so it's going to be a top water. So that fish, there we go. So that fish is going to see, you know, pretty much this angle. It's going to see, you know, the sides. But, but there we go. So that's going to be, that's going to be the yellow perch pattern. So I'll heat set this and then we'll throw some eyes on it. The eyes are really going to make this thing come alive. So stay tuned. We'll get some eyes on this bad boy. 
All right, so kind of going through all my eyes here, I decided to go with this like pearl green, emerald green color. Um, I got this one on this side. What I like to do, which I didn't show on camera, is uh, is paint like the eye socket uh, black. Uh, I kind of noticed that when you do that. Uh, you don't it's not something you have to do and do I want to say I always do it no but most of the time I do um, and that is it just makes the eye pop a little more um, so so what I'm doing here because I don't have which I'm surprised is the exact size for this eye. This is kind of like a weird shape, size, color, uh, eye, or you know, size, not color, but size, socket. Um, so what I did is I just put that eye dead center. Um, you know, instead of putting it in the top or in the bottom or in the front, I just put it dead center. Uh, once I clear coat it, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna brush the KBS on it. I did get a uh, UV uh, UV light system the other day. I got it set up. Uh, maybe I'll I might make a video on that on uh, what I what I got, what I did, how I made it, and stuff. Um, but still, kind of getting that all squared away and figured out. Um, so what I think I might do is just you know brush on some kbs for this but but there you go this is the bait uh without any clear coat on it i won't bore you guys with that process you've seen me do that plenty of times uh, hope you guys have you know learned something new today and enjoyed the video um, hope you guys are able to get out there and fish a little bit I know like I said I have not been um, but yeah so there you go I will see you guys on the next video that should be coming out here shortly like I said hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get out here again and do it I haven't been able to do this as much as I've been wanting to lately just because of the holidays and everything but hopefully now that we're past that I'll be able to so Alright, well, hope you guys have a good weekend. Enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys don't mind, drop a like and subscribe. Share this video. Kind of help it get out there. You know, I don't sell these. I don't try to make any money off of them. It's just a hobby I like to do. And You know, if I can teach some people some things or somebody learns a little something from me, awesome. You know, I'm no artist at all. I just, you know, enjoy making these things. Um. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Uh, this is Uncle Shorty with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.